you show up in a Winston jersey. A lot of people say Dick Vitale, the mega Tampa Bay Buccaneers fan. Why you, not him? What makes you That's the so Superman? funny. I, I think I pulled something online one time, and I was looking at, like, the biggest Bucks fans, and I saw Dick Vitale come up, and I'm like, uh-uh. This is, like, I, I'm on a mission to prove <laughs> that I am the number one Bucks fan. Yeah, no, I actually, uh, my love for the Bucks really started... Um, when I was around like six years old, my family, we moved from upstate New York. So by default, uh, you know, we were pretty much uh, Buffalo Bills fans. And so we moved down to Tampa when I was six. And um, I never forget like sitting there watching uh, and the Bills lose four Super Bowls in a row. Yeah. I was heartbroken, at, like six, seven years old. And so um, during that time, I actually joined a dance troupe in Tampa uh, called Car Carlin DeMarco. And the lady there, she actually was a... Um, a choreographer for the for the cheerleaders, and I became a part of the halftime show as at, a kid. I, and as a kid, no around way. like eight, nine cool. years old, and we would perform in Hulahan Stadium. Oh yeah, and, oh, and yeah, so that yeah. was like my first experience, like the big um, sombrero. The, the big sombrero. <laughs> That's so cool. And um, you know, I never forget looking at the players and just being fascinated with this whole thing. So that was my my first experience, and then I realized that. I, I actually could make a choice of who I wanted to be a fan of. So yeah. I decided to be a fan of the Creamsicle Buccaneers the at the time. Love so. Creamsicle. Yeah, I like yeah. the Creamsicle Bucks. I actually loved it, too. Sam White's Creamsicle Bucks. <laughs> I like it. Uh, <laughs>